been great if that had gone in, wouldn't it, son? Well, it was a bold effort, wasn't it? But uh, he should still polish off this leg. He's 25 when he goes, Tavern way back, chugging away, but this Tennessee leg looks a loss cause. Priestley so close to the ball, now looking for 25. Nine will be the first target. Right in the middle, double eight, that's the target, the red bit. Just got to move, what, a quarter of an inch over to the right. Oh, that's too far. Well, he's not got the same ruler that you use, Dave, that's for certain. But uh, anyway, he's still going to be back as Tavern wants 2 3 4, and he's not playing cards on it. So, 1 7 4 left, 1 7 1 left. Got to make a hole. Oh, great darts. 111 left, just like that. How priestly. Knows that Tavern is capable if he doesn't take this out of just, just hit him back. Check out. So even more time than usual in focusing on double four. No score. Well, that's incredible, isn't it? That Dennis Priest is so close to 125. Has now had five darts and a double and missed. And 111 here. Got to come down for treble 17. He's missed it. Over for 14s. Again, could be too late. Priestley surely won't miss again. Double. Dennis should be quiet. Well, Russ Prey spells it out, but I know that Dennis knows where he wants. Does he know where it is? Yes, he does. Dennis well, having hit double Dennis 13, Dennis the southern neighbour of double four, he knew exactly where to place that one in relation to the dart he'd thrown since before. So 5-2 to Priestley, he hung on to that leg, and uh, oh, Tavern can't afford to lose against the throw again here. Six and he could if Priestley hits him now with another big score. And Dennis Priestley will be feeling good there. He knows he stumbled quite dramatically at the finish, but still managed to get the double four in the leg. Yeah, quality that. He got the first dart underneath. He knew exactly the weight for the second dart, which he put in the treble, and the third dart was an absolute certainty. Went exactly the same weight, same length. 140 scored, has the darts. Yes, He's stolen the throw here, hasn't he? Will attempt to do it again. Here we go again knew how to adjust from the first dart put in the second third one automatic class sheer class and he's got one or two fans who agree with me when when a player not just Dennis Priest but any of these players is throwing really really well that's what it's about it's about adjustment it comes automatically going all around the target here as you can see you've got the best view in the place 76. finally Priestley gets it right 76 a score and leaves him a finish 145 Tavern leads at least a ton here on his way could get a 140 if he just no 100. that same element of adjustment there judgment well that was a great treble 20 the last start from Dennis Priestley it put him in pole position or kept him there and uh, whilst he may not check out 145, he can make a big, big hole in it. Now then, treble 15. Wood leave tops for a 145 finish and a 12 darter. How will he be back? Could be, should be. Well, he came close to a 125, came close there to a 145, and now Tavern has got to do something about 141. And all he can do is tidy it up. And know that he's facing defeat again in this leg because Dennis Priestley will need double top as he comes to the mark for 6-2. Double top, Priestley focusing, concentrating. This almost self-hypnosis, his timing, his measurement. Now then, double tail, just below the wire, moves across, readjusts, settles again. Can he 
kiss it through. He's done it before. Almost an identical position. Well, another leg to Priestley, this time against the darts. That's the third time now he's broken Tavern. He's only been broken himself on one occasion. So he's two breaks up. He's uh, a comfortable 6-2 ahead, two breaks up. And Adam, who's been part our show since he was a little lad, instead of a big one. Yeah, we, we, he's delighted. We've sort of seen him grow up on this wow. <laughs> Well, Alan Tavern here from St. Helens, who rescued the situation in that first uh, series of legs. Came from 3 0 down to 3 2. Now he's lost three on the turn again. Needs another retrieval, but time is beginning to tick down for him. Yes, Priestley knows that. Uh, it's there for him to lose now rather than Tabern to win, if you see what I mean, because he's got a firm grip oh, on this man. match and he's just got to hold himself together. Fewer throws like that, for instance. But Alan Tabern, we know, has what it takes to come back. Wow. Although he's got to start hitting more than just the one treble in each sequence Dave and having got the one he's, he's not putting another dart near it there are hard looking tons where they're all on the wire and there are tons wow. which don't deserve to be <laughs> lovely dart that there's an example wow. First one, perfect lie, perfect pitch. Neither of the other two follow it. And so, in this leg tavern, unless Priestley, who there you see, puts one in, puts two in, and could have been the third, and he's almost disappointed that he didn't get the third. The Priestley family's wife, Jenny, there, great loyal follower over the years. Oh, for the ball. Good thinking. Dennis, you require 120. Well, Tabern almost took out. Well, Tabern had a chance of 120, didn't he, and uh, failed. Priestley to go 7-2 ahead, once treble 20. There's the adjustment from the first dart to the second. Now an even bigger adjustment yeah. for the cross, but he's there. It's now 7-2, it's four legs in a row for Dennis Priestley, all of them in this session, since Alan Tavern won those two legs at the end of the last session. A big, big 